Hey okay, guys, it's Google High. We're doing a Bosch Bosch today, so strap yourselves in. The first thing I did when I joined the world was I bought a whip and a koi kite. Oh, we're seeing the data. I'm here. I flew my ridiculous giant fish around for a few mm. minutes, but then we I'm immediately went down to mines of obsidian control. with some more bombs and some lava that was nearby. I mined up to get this heart crystal that was conveniently located right where I was, and died. So we went to explore to the left, and uh, you guessed it, I died again. Let me explore this snow cave. See this. I found some Hermes boots in a chest, finally. Um, we discovered the, another mushroom biome. Yes, another one. And there was a life crystal for Tristarter, but he died, so I had to grab it for him. Then there was a nymph, which, by the way, is the rarest thing in Terraria. A nymph. It's dropping on you. We actually saw one later in the video, but I thought, yeah, this is going to be pretty easy if I can just jump over it. But, uh, as you'll see, that was not the case. We went to the snow biome and found a little cabin that was overwhelmed by monsters, but we found another pair of Hermes boots. Or a oh. tri starter. There was a little ASMR and death for you. We started building a gigantic uh, arena, and here's a little thing to show you just how big it was, and this is sped up four times. We were definitely ready to fight the Eye of Cthulhu, but we had to wait one more night, so I chopped down some of these gym trees to pass the time. We continued the elevator and watched Tristarter die again. We actually found a magic mirror in a chest, and I was like, no more recall potions for me. I spawned in the Eye of Cthulhu, drank a iron skin potion. We started off, it started off really well until it went all zoom zoom on us, and you'll see. We both died. No! Look, it had 95 health. 95. We were so close. I began building a giant a solid platform to grapple up during our rematch. We went down to the corruption to craft another suspicious looking guy, and I broke some shadow orbs to get us both a musket, which would severely help us during the fight. Is that. There's another one. A blood moon got in the way, but. We could always wait until the next night. The next night, drink an iron skin potion wait, wait, and summoned in the Eye of Cthulhu. I had to wait a little bit time. to drink a uh, uh, potion and for him to eat his burger. But, uh, yeah, uh, this, uh, this is how it went. We ended up beating the Eye of Cthulhu, and we opened up our treasure bags where I got a mask and a shield of Cthulhu, which is, okay, gives us the dash the ability, which will be very shield. useful later in the game. I decided, why not summon the King Slime? We were definitely ready for it, so...
get him, get him, get him. No offense. We ended up killing the King Slime and I got the slimy saddle mount, which is going to be very helpful. We also both got the Royal Gel. Now I, can I crafted up a mannequin and put my Eye of Cthulhu mask on it. And I went to the jungle where there was a giant lava bowl. Because in For the Worthy, most waters are placed by lava. We found some living trees and they all had... I wouldn't say good loot, but it was decent. We also found the beach, which we were very happy about, and there was a sleeping angler, which I saved. And then we both died. Oh. Hi. We went to continue the elevator, where I found a ton of gold and a few chests hey, where a lucky horseshoe horse? was. Unfortunately, I did die to a crawdad, Dude. but Tristarter picked up the lucky horseshoe. We continued the elevator, which brought us all the way down to, well, you guessed it, the Underworld, where apparently all the houses were made of hellstone brick. And so we died. To a bone sir, actually. Ow, ow. Guess what, goo high? Really rolling. Anyway, that finishes the episode. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you liked it.